5 15 2010 oh that's funny that's today the first one of today the Mayan day is to water or offering and it's called diving beneath the surface of life of 3d greetings of love unto the day gratitude for life flows my Priscilla is still in the vet's hospital, not doing so well. Actually, I'm a bit surprised she's still with us here in 3D, considering the high fever her body's been running for so long, over 103. Sure, a body's just a container for a spirit, but oh how close we grow to the being that's within it. Not only do we identify with our bodies, but we identify others with theirs, too, even our pets. That's a good way to get lost in 3D land, which is to say, off-center from heart, from source. For my part, I suggest we see to it we stay centered at heart and relate to everything and everyone from there, heart to heart. That enlivens the whole creation, you know. It gets us off the surface of life, the superficial or outer manifestation of things, as if that's all there is. All life has heart, or maybe more accurately, all life can be found in heart. When we go into heart, we connect in a much deeper way with what appears to be out there. It's not really out there at all. We've heard this again and again, sure, but the experience of it is available too. Anyone can have it with sufficient heart and determination. It's the setting of deep intent that counts, that controls the direction our life flows. No, we can't control the outer manifestation of things. And people have gotten quite lost in this law of attraction stuff in the way we've understood it and tried to apply it. When you're not coming from your center, well, you're not quite real. You're not quite you. Your creation comes out off-center then as well. Your thoughts aren't quite aligned with truth, with real truth, so Things don't work out quite as you thought they would, or should. We've rather misunderstood this being a creator of things, many of us. And that's understandable, too, being in 3D as we are, for it's not on the 3D level that we create. No one is totally successful at anything living entirely on the 3D level that's not sufficiently real it's incomplete it's not the whole of us just the surface the physical manifestation we've put forth we exist on all dimensions you know we do this and we can claim this as the one via our union beyond that though our individuality exists on many and multiple dimensions as well I'm not totally familiar with this or with these, so I don't want to sound like I am. I can only share what I've experienced. Beyond that, it's up to you to do your own adventuring, exploring. One thing I suggest, though, is that we eliminate all fear first. Fear is magnetic, and it will pull to you that which is feared just as to resist something helps it to persist. These are ways of attracting to the self things seemingly not wanted. To the extent that we retain fear, it will color our explorations, just as it colors our life. There are many things we don't identify as fear either that are built on fear, that have fear at the base of them. Anxiety is an obvious one, but so is anger, and it's not so obviously fear-based. They both are, though. They're evidence of trying to control the life and the fear that we can't. 
It all seems to stem from a misunderstanding of how and on what level we create. Now, if you've been with me and these journals long, you know that entering heart space is the way to exit all fear. There is no fear in heart space, not one iota. Here's the thing, though. As we leave the mind, which we must enter heart space, for the mind can't enter there either. As we leave the mind and go deep within heart, we abide in that peace, yes. But odd things seem to happen, too. Things will come up. What do I mean? Well, do keep in mind, or at least accept the possibility that everything is Source or God talking to you. All life is one grand conversation. Okay, got that concept? Well then, the place where you go to pick up the other end of that phone is in your heart. That's where the clearest communion and communication resides. At least that's been my experience with this. Now, that being the case, please realize that Source will often choose the topic of conversation. Father knows best and all that. So, there you sit on the throne of the heart and up comes this feeling from who knows where. It happens often like that. We're taken by surprise by what arises. We may find ourselves suddenly sad, close to tears maybe, and not even know why. Now, this isn't depression, my friends. Don't link it with that. This is your conversation with Source. Something deep is coming up for you that Source is bringing to your attention. Something for you to look at, to be with, to examine, ultimately to learn from, to bring about growth, if you want to look at it that way. Uh, the trick with this at all times, i found, is to stay put in heart. Don't let the mind pull you out, get you lost in thought over this or that. No solutions reside there. If they did, you'd already have them and you'd have solved whatever it is. No, this is deeper and your guidance around it abides deep within. I'll mention Eckhart Tolle again and link up to one or two of his clips and uh, long lecture two in the transcript for those who might like to benefit from what he offers on this. He calls it the inner body, but it's the same thing ultimately. He's a good teacher of just staying put and being with what is. That's what is called for here. Just be with what is, with what comes up. Don't run away from it. The surest way to make something persist, even through lifetimes, is to run away from it. You're just fooling yourself if you think you can do that and it accomplishes anything. Why do you think it comes up? Do you think there's no reason, no sense in that? Where does that belief originate? You might want to look into that one. All life has meaning. Nothing is meaningless. I don't care what science says. You want to make something last for eternity? Then run from it. That'll do it. Not always, but it may be that whatever this is, it's the lesson that's up that is current for you in your life. If that's the case, then it's like trying to run around the fourth grade to get into the fifth. Ain't happening. The way out is through. Ever heard that before? The way through is to be with what arises. Now guys, you don't have to solve it. Yes, I know that's the way at least life in the West has taught you to be. Brought you up from mere mites solving things. Giving you gold stars and promotions when you do. Well, this isn't that. You can drop that persona. It isn't helpful here in heart. It just holds you back. Oh, you guys, I know it's tougher on you what is happening now. 
you're being called into levels of your own intuition, what some consider your feminine side. Everyone's intuition, our psychic abilities, are arising, are intensifying, and guys are not even used to admitting you have intuition. And that can be rough. Well, just like all that rot we've been fed that they called history, so too with the way you were taught it was to be manly. You might want to set that little birdie on your shoulder, watching, examining that and your beliefs around it. You've got every bit as much power of intuition as the women do. Source speaks to you too, you know. You're not junk. <laughs>